Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today is gonna be a pretty interesting one, but first I would just like to apologize uh, for the slow uh, delay on the videos coming out because the past few days I've been like really busy with real life. <laughs> so uh, hopefully, hopefully everything will be back to normal uh, and on schedule once again, alright? So today we are gonna do RTA, alright? <laughs> We've only played 20 swords and we already got a 55% win rate. And yeah, uh, since it's still early on in the season, I'm gonna do something fun. We can go with the quad masters, alright? So let's just head right in. Hopefully, hopefully, we can pick all our art masters. And for the last pick, we'll try to bring out something which complements uh, the lineup <laughs> or so, right? Okay, so we got our first pick. I am gonna lock in the Jogan first because I feel like everybody will still be taking this unit. Chinese dude though. Most of the time they should have LD units. Okay, going Balanus and kind of very heavy fire. Oh my god, I need Cheongpong. But Cheongpong is like kinda trash against this. <laughs> But doesn't matter, doesn't matter, alright. So we're seeing the Fuki. Probably we'll be banning out the Karnal. Or the Balanus. Okay, I can deal with this too. So I'm gonna run... Our CP here. And for our last pick, we need a damage dealer or a speed lead. Actually going Savannah here can be pretty decent. However, I'm just gonna Kaki him because Kaki seems like a very good unit to deal with this lineup uh, because of his burst damage. So since he is not running any other healers, I'm gonna ban off the Lulu and pray that we actually get the first turn. Most likely he'll be banning off Kaki though. Oh! Jogun! Interesting! Okay, we are gonna go with the Dark Lead because my mock wall is on crit damage. <laughs> okay, so very important. Uh, Heigang needs to strip. And then we'll probably go for the Chongpong's second skill. Hopefully we land our armor break. Because it's like the only armor breaker in our lineup. Now that I just noticed. And then we don't really have good follow-ups. Uh, apart from like the Kaki Newt after that. Okay, so at least we can land the, the glancing and I am gonna strip this once again. Nice additional prop that is huge. We get to push back. <laughs> okay, I am gonna use the Mask of Devil onto Heigang because Heigang is like pre pretty useless already. He used his skills. And we are just gonna strip once again. Can this kill? We have to kill the Balanus though. Oh shit, additional turn! Is he autoing me? I swear to god, right? I feel like all these Chinese players, for some reason, they like to like uh, go in a fight and auto. I don't know why. So, yeah, um, maybe we need to kill off this unit. Nice additional part. We'll finish off the Diana as well. Okay, this sort of range shouldn't do too much. Oh, he got the he got the slow onto my Kaki though. Um, however, I think we should still be in a very good shape because Kaki wins Fuki, right? Elemental advantage. Nice. We even got an additional prop here, so we'll be able to finish off the Carnal, and then now we'll just slowly work on to this Fuki. Nice additional prop. I'm just gonna reset him. And actually, we got a win. <laughs> ah, very interesting. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention is like, um, yeah, you see my hair down now, right? Because it's like so long to actually like uh style it. I I'm just like too lazy at the moment. And in Malaysia, it's still full lockdown, so we can't really go out anyways. Everything is closed. But yeah, I I can't get my hair cut, so yeah, pretty unfortunate. Okay, we'll be moving on to our next fight. Against a Japanese dude. 
Okay, Ciara first pick. Very interesting. I'm gonna run the double art masters. So he's trying to outspeed me. So this means that Heigang is very good, and then we go with a dark unit. Mm, it all depends what other units uh, he wants to go for. He's very heavy on the water department though. So I don't really like this. Uh, maybe we just ban out the Brandia. Mm. And then we can just run a speed lead with damage. Jamir can be pretty decent. Yep, gonna lock it in. Yeah, I'm gonna ban. I, I'm gonna ban off the brand. Yeah, I I'm banking that we can outspeed this guy. However, with double buffers, oh, actually not because Jogan. Uh, unless we can seal like one of the units. So let's just see. Hmm, I think it's very important to seal off. Yo, <laughs> why do you straight quit? You know you had the chance, right? Come on, man. I just want to showcase my quad masters. <laughs> Since we have the dark one, might as well try and milk some content out of it, right? Since we don't really use Mock Wall anyways, and yeah, we don't really care about RTA anymore, so we're just gonna have some fun. <laughs> okay, this time maybe we go for Jogan again. I'm trying to bait him to take away the Sierra. Oh, okay, we are seeing a Rakan right off the bat. That's very interesting, you know. Why Rakan? Rakan Vigor. Okay, we can lock in the triple up masters right now. Since nobody will ever play like Mogwool, we can keep him for the last. And um, this is a very interesting lineup. Mm. Yeah, having Sierra here will be good. And then we go mock wall. So we got speed lead, we ban off the vert. We got a lot of strips for this Rakan anyways. Yeah, I'm not too afraid. Actually, wait. Who is our damage dealer? Uh, this guy, right? <laughs> oh my god, mock wall. His damage output is actually pretty trash, you know? Uh, like I'm running it on crit damage. But yeah, you saw earlier he crits for like 9k without any um, attack buff. So uh, I feel like we might need to seal off the Molly first. I can't deal with this unit. And then we go for the strip. We don't really need to use Heigang's strip just yet. So I'm just gonna normal attack. And then we go for the serious meta. Very important to put some cooldown times on them. And then... Who is tanky in my lineup? Uh, yeah, we'll just go for Heigang. Play some glancings, which is pretty important. I want to take away the Vigor first though. Come on, crit! Yo! Can we push back? Oh shit, we don't have damage to deal with this lineup. Yo, shit, man. Okay, can we just land the armor break at least? Push back. Violent prop. Yo. We're on violent, you know. Oh, I'm so scared. I feel like we try to remove the pinion. And then we go for the strip once again with this attack buff. Come on, we have to do something to this body, you know? Crit. <laughs> oh shit. This ain't working. Yo, not enough. Okay, seems like I have to put the, the threat state on to Mogwall. And then we go for the strip. He even gets the collapse though. Yo, bloody hell, this guy is autoing me again. What is wrong with all these fighter 3 players, man? <laughs> I 
I don't think we can win. There's no way to deal uh, with this kind of lineup, you know. Uh, that's why you see the strat whenever you're fighting all these Chinese bots, right? Uh, down in Fighter Tree or wherever you're at. Uh, they just pick like super tanky units. So you're seeing, of course, the Molly, Pingyan, Vigor, Rakan, and then it's just auto. You can't really do anything about it. I mean, of course, if I want to actually wreck this guy, I, I can just run my speed cleave and this thing. This lineup wouldn't work. But yeah, you're seeing a lot of all these players with Ragdoll as well. They're going for that Kana, Ragdoll, Lulu kind of lineup. It synergizes very well and yeah, you can't really do anything about it. Uh, those kinds of those kind of lineup is actually really hard to deal with, and yeah, I mean if they are farming you just for points down in the ranks, can't really do anything about it uh, apart from reporting to come to us. Which I'm not too sure whether they actually take any actions against all these Chinese botters. So I'm pretty sure this will be another Chinese bot. Should we just steamroll him? Yeah, maybe we should bring out our main lineup because it seems to me. Wait a minute. He's playing something fun. <laughs> okay, we can go something fun as well. Okay, we, we don't really need to change our strat. I, I think this is a real player. Yeah, we are seeing him choose Fade Lucian. I don't think this works on auto because if you do auto, it's gonna be like uh, really bad in terms of using the skills. So we're seeing a Tiana and a. What's that? Bastard. Huh. We need to probably ban off Fei. <laughs> we only got one speed lead though. Ah oh, shit. Is he speed tuned? But if he just bans my... Fae, we are in trouble, right? Uh, no, if he just bans my more, sorry. <laughs> um, so if we let this through, most likely we should still be able to get first turn. Oh no. Yeah, we needed another speed lead. That's the reason why triple, uh, as in quad art masters don't really work. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see whether our Jogan can actually outspeed this Tiana. But he has the 24% speed lead. If he goes for the AoE uh, winds of changes, it all depends on his speed tuning. So if we get to cut in between, we should be good. From what I see here, I think the Asima moves. And then we cut in between with our Jogan. Can we land some glancing? Okay, we have to do the pushback here. I am gonna put immunity on ourselves and then go for some glancing attacks. Come on, can we land the glancing onto Lucian at least? Perfect. And then who is the threat right now? Because we are gonna outspeed everything. I don't really want to use uh, our second skill just yet. We kill off the Lucian. And then now we need to work on to this fade. Can we crit? <laughs> we'll put Asima away first. I don't really want to deal with our skills. However, that might be a very bad play. Because once once the Asima comes out, we are out of our immunity, right? Unless we kill here. Okay, perfect. Push back. Oh big crit, big crit. I think we got this one. What? Art Masters? <laughs> oh, not enough damage. Nice fight, nice fight. I really like his team as actually. Just that it didn't uh, synergize too well. Um, his speed tuning was off a little bit because we can see the... Lucian and Faye didn't really follow up together. So if he had it um, at like probably 140, 150 speed, then our whole lineup is dead. <laughs> Okay, we will probably do one last fight, alright? Come on, let's get our... Uh, did we lose uh, two fights? I'm not too sure. Or is it one? But so far so good. I'm actually liking it. Yeah. 
I always need to take the Jogan because this is very heavily contested between everybody in wherever you're at. Basically, even if you're a fighter, challenger, conqueror, guardian, everybody uses Jogan, right? Even with the nerf, I, I think it's still really good. Um, in terms of a stripper which has the scroll tap, and then. But now you probably need another unit that follows up really closely together with the Jogan itself to utilize this unit. So we can see he's already taking away my Water Ryu and now he has Bastet there. Ha, huh, very interesting. We can go with the Sierra and CP here. So we do have some form of damage in the Sierra lineup there. But I, I still think he's just gonna ban that unit out. And then, we're seeing Okeanos Juno. How are we gonna use Quad Masters here? <laughs> we have to ban off the Juno. Okay, we can't deal with that unit. But if we do that, then the Bastet gets the buff. What are you goes on the strip. Okeanos follows up, and then we are probably dead. But yeah, let's just pray that he actually bans my Heigang because Heigang can be pretty scary against him. Yeah, I can't let the Juno through. Actually bans off my Sierra. Very interesting. Now I'm not too sure whether we have the damage to deal with this lineup. Unless his Okeanos is like kinda squishy and then uh, we nuke him down in time. Maybe, maybe we can kill... Uh, the Okeanos, and if Okeanos goes down, most likely we should win. So he's going for the reset, probably on to Jogan. Or the CP. I wouldn't think he'd be using it on Mogwall, there's no way. Oh! Heigang though. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can go for the strip here. We didn't get the Water Ryu, that's not, that's not good, you know. So we need to go for the Armor Break. Might as well put the glancing here. And then I'm gonna use the Mask of Devil onto Heigang because Heigang already used his skills. It's kinda redundant. And then we go for damage. I need to outspeed this Lulu. Can my CP. Oh, my CP is slower. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna go for the seal onto Lulu. It's all about humanity. And then let's just focus on the objective, which is the Okeanos, right? Yeah, we're gonna do the pushback. But this is kinda juicy, you know? Like, if we kill off the Bastet here, and then now we work onto this Okeanos. So one thing to note, right? Art Masters all have the first skill which decreases the attack bar. Hopefully we can keep getting it. <laughs> Look at that, it's not moving. But Hagen fails, oh my god. Alright. <laughs> we need one prop. Yo, the heal is coming. Or did we reset the Lulu? Ah, uh, no. Doesn't matter, we'll go for the Blossom's Painting. We didn't get the strip onto the Okeanos though. However, he doesn't have any skills, which is fine. So, I am just probably gonna try and work onto this Lulu. Big crit. Come on, one more. Nice. <laughs> okay, we have to use the Master Devil on ourselves right now. And then we crit. Nice, 14,000. Okay, we are gonna scroll tap this. Oh shit, we didn't get it. I'm scared this Water Ryu solos our lineup. Because over time, that second skill is gonna do a lot of damage, you know? Oh my god, 4.6k crit? My Mogwo might die here. But he's going for the reset. Which is fine. He has armor break. But we failed to crit, so this should do it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, 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 okay. Can we still win this? I'm going for the serious matter. We need to push the, uh, the attack bar. And then, let's just play some glancings. Just normal attack. Come on, just die. 
Oh, okay, at least we got our win at the end. Nice. Good shit, good shit. I really like this team. Maybe we can do more fun stuff in Arte since uh, at the end of the day, we don't really take this very seriously, uh, this content. Uh, maybe we can play more fun stuff. Probably put Faye in. Yeah, Faye with some random RNG with our Bastet, which we don't really use as well. <laughs> so I'll try to think of something fun in the future videos. I really do hope that you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video as well. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, stay safe. Peace out.